Hello, I'm Don Gay, back with another look at my favorite parts of the professional bull riding tour. In a season that spans America and pits the best bull riders from around the world against the meanest, smartest bulls ever bred, you're going to get some extreme rides. And I'm not talking about skateboarding. This is Coy Hudson, Harrington Cattle Company Slam Jam. All right, real good parental bull. He turns back to the right, right into Coy Hudson's office. That's the way he likes him to go. All right, around to the right. Coy Hudson is late. He beat around the corner, heads up, free hand back, going in the back door. Slam Bam. down, hit in the face. And out to the right hand, makes a great save. All right, Cowboy down. Another resist all bit the dust. Boy, Roach Edeman was in a bad way there too, Don. Right Nowhere pin, to go. Pin right against the gate. Bull just went out. Not anything they could do. He's talking to him right now. Justin Sports Medicine crew out there. Boy, that was scary. Let's take another look at it. All right. I think that was tough. Hedeman's resist all. He did the hat trick. We can watch it back. His head's up going in the back door. Whips him down. His hand doesn't come out. Now watch his whop. Hits him right under. The, looks like maybe the vest got it. Doesn't step on him right there. You see that hat get thrown in there. That's tough. Hedeman trying to get that bull's attention. Trying to save Coy Hudson. Whipped him down. Bang. Four. He keeps trying to move, and that's what you do. You just keep digging. This is Chris Soares. He's on the Twilight Zone. Gary Hempstead, bull out of California. Look out. Look out. Oh, baby, hell, rip shot. Chris Soares, Arizona bull rider, got sent flying. Twilight Zone. That was just an ugly deal, the way that bull hopped. Just hopped and skipped, sets him up into his hand, and he just kind of goes ahead and bucks off, thinking, well, I'm not going to get around the corner if this bull spins right. He should have kept on trying. Watch this. This bull feels him. He skips and hops. There he bucked off, but now, turn right back, hit him. Now, there's a reason to wear your protective vest. That saves some broken ribs. Get another angle of it right now. Hop and skip, a lot of power. Just slam dunks him right down there. Hits him, gives him a little boost on the way of the fence. Chris Soares walks away from it. Here's Jesse Shellhammer. He's on Julio. Glenn Southwick sends this bull over to really a good one. Round oh, to the right, with the man. feet came out, hung in the bull rope. Oh no, hood ornament. Looked like a hood ornament from within 55 Cadillac. Had him stretched out there. No score, he's up. Looked like might have hit him in the side of the face. Had a little strawberry. Oh, he's gonna hook to pick up a horse. Wow, Shellhammer. First right turn, Donnie, just clicked his heels, really turned back. He just kind of bends down, both sucked back, his right foot comes out of him, and he is hung in the rope over the front. Actually did him a favor, that way he didn't stay hung up to the bull. Watch this, he's gonna go away from his hand when he goes down, he's gonna be hung up, and now watch, bull gets him out over the front, and his hand comes out of the rope, so it couldn't couldn't have worked out any better. Bullfighter did a great job. This is Jason Bennett, he is on now. Double J, Rodeo Palace, bull and boy, two tons. Oh, yard dart, look out, light throw, oh no! Jason Bennett, he's staggering away, but that's just reflex, he's knocked out. He's out on his feet. Well, it wasn't bad enough to get popped, didn't he, Donnie? But when he lifted his face, he was eye to eye with Nile. Well, you know, that was one of those deals where it could have been so much worse. This could be your worst nightmare. Now, this is the Cleveland not nightmare on Elm Street. Now he starts to raise up. Now look, right don't you there. think that's oh. not scary? Looking right in the face. Wow. Jason Bennett, get another look at this. Just stretches him out, rings him out. Bull should spin to the left. Not gonna do it, just jerks him up, whips him down, hits on his shoulder, and it just stuns him. Now, this really scary hits him, just clipped him right under the chin. Yes. Here's Owen Washburn, he's on Dan Russell's punk. Oh, innocent looking Herford, Bull spins. Just round and round we go. Owen Washburn, big, long, and tall, and he's going down over his head. Look out. Roach. 
Oh, Ooh, Rose Hedeman. Man, oh, oh man. My gosh. We got had to save one of the Cowboy Sabres. Frank Newsom saved Roach. Boy, he's hurting. Stepped right on him. Man, I want to see this one back down because it, Roach, I thought he stepped practically right on his head. Must have just slid off of him, but that was scary. Little bull like that certainly doesn't fit Owen Washburn. Down. Well, he's just so small. He's going to get up. See Jimmy clapping in. That means Roach is up. He's talking to him. Not uh, nothing, you know, that, that he's not going to get over. These guys are tough. Boy. They're tending to him. There's Dr. Tandy Freeman right there. Let's take another look. All right, Owen. He gets, he, he just gets tipped into his hand and he can't get his long legs going. He starts going down in the well. Takes a little shot right there and the punk's got him. And Roach just saves the day. Right and there. the bull looks like his front foot just stepped right on the side of his face, slid off. Let's get a load of this, right over the top of his head. We well, probably lost a little hair, but that didn't happen to me. Oh, I couldn't study. It's Robbie Condra, Dr. Jekyll. All right, Big Ben Bull. Watch this, the Delta Center in Salt Lake City and into the wall. Whoa. Condra knocked out. out. Boy, Robbie Condra, he's down, and I mean, Dr. Jekyll is looking for it. Man, oh, man. Just hate the way he's laying there, Donnie. That, ooh. Talk about a place getting quiet in a hurry. The All right, Center. sports medicine team is there. EMTs are on the call, on the ready. Normally when a guy gets knocked out, you know, usually within a minute or so, he'll start coming back around. Don't want to try to give any doctor prognosis uh, of that. I'm not one, but uh, normally these things look a little worse than they are. All right. Tries to stay up on his rope. This bull jumps into the wall. Dark to take the easy way down, grabbed a hold of the fence, and that bull's back leg looked like caught him right in the ear. That would be just like getting somebody hitting you with a baseball bat from behind. Watch when he grabs the fence. He shouldn't have done that, but hindsight 2020, but I mean, just came right over his shoulder and just, I mean, slammed on. Cody Hart, he's on good as gold. Eddie Rowden, Bull, and Cody Hart, Walnut Ben, Texas, whip down, mucked out. Wow. Okay, take that, he said. Champ of the world. Just reared him back and yes. mamboed him right over the front. I guess old Goodis Gold didn't think much of that number one on his back there, Donnie. Well, you know, I never could teach those bulls how to read, and uh, Cody Hart's not going to have much luck doing that either. I don't know if you want to watch this back, Cody. He just kind of gets your arm straight and your head back. Bam. Jerked him down, and he's real lucky that he got his free hand over the top of yep. his head, kept him from leading with his lips. One more look at it. Now watch his head come up. Boom, right there. Come. Wow. Yes, sir. That's getting wrung out like a dirty shirt. Here's Joe Rush. Bull is called Rocky. Harrington Cattle Company, and boy, this is tough. Never been ridden. Boy, and still never been Joe. ridden. Joe Rush, Georgia. Welcome to the PBR. Woo. Oh, Georgia, he's climbing up. He's thinking, man, I still got everything. And I get my hat. Where's my hat? You know, he has a lot to be thankful for. Oh. I saw it look like at least two good shots to the face he took on. Little Bull's got a lot of power. Just got him reared back. One, One shot, two, two shots. Whew. Oh, boy. Jimmy Anderson says, boy, I hope you can get up. I just hate having to stand here. The bat. Yeah, and he got that arm in front of him on the way down. Thank goodness. Here's Norman Curry, locomotive breath. All right, round and round to the left. And Norman Curry doesn't want to get moving. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He made a good recovery down his head. Whoa, hit him right in the face, right in the side of the head. There's a broke jaw. We'll see what we call the Talk about a heavyweight punch. Everybody wants to draw locomotive breath. That's a pay window bull. And Norman Curry's one of those guys because he knows he can ride him. He's done it before. Norman Curry got to moving. He's talking to him. He's up. You watch this. Just to move. He got outside, moved too big, got inside, down in his head. Bang. 
You know, he doesn't have any horns, but it doesn't make any difference. Top of his head real hard. You get another look at it right here. Great shot right here coming back. Right, I mean, unprotected, right in the side of the face. Broken jaw, and he's riding it. Here's Barry Gullo Jr. on the boogeyman. Boogeyman of Rossville, round to the right, got him going down the get well. This bullet hook you. This bullet hook you. Barry Gullo knocked out. Our bullfighters are right there doing a great man. job. Trying to get him to come on out. This bull really wanting to fight Joe Bumgardner. He's got him. And we just got to, now they're gonna get him out there and try to get him roped because he's knocked out chasing a horse going right out the gate. Barry Gullo. Donnie trying to make sure. Oh, that's scary. Gullo knocked out Cole. Mm -hmm. Down in the well. Went to get his arm up over the bull's neck and the bull's horn hits him. Looked like right in the chin. Down in the hole, get your arm up and grab a hole. Doesn't do that, was just a little bit late. Got it over his head, hit him, and just, I mean, knockout punch. Look, look at the bullfighter. They kept that bull from jumping and stepping right in the middle of him while he lay there unprotected. Down to the right, boy, you'll get a good look at it right here. Bang. See, he's already knocked out right there. That is out, Bill. Cody Custer, he's on Thumper of Gary Hempstead. Hempstead sends him from California, a lot of jerk oh. power. Man, he is hit hard. Look at that little shot in the short drive. Right another one. Oh, boy. Frank knew some good save. Cody Custer, look at that cowboy rope that bull with a butterfly. Woo. Hit him right in the face, sprung a leak, looked like cut over the eye. Oh, my God, his jaw broke last year. He doesn't need any more of those kind of shots. God, Cody he's Custer. Tough. He's tough. That's why they call that bull the Thumper. Oh. Watch him. I mean, this bull is bucking and he's riding. He's trying to keep his chin tight. Oh. Bang, just wipe him right there. Might have hit him again there. I mean, a little love tap on his W's. Watch Cody keep moving, Donnie. Keep crawling. Keep well, the hustling. whole key is it'll get worse. This bull is rank. Whipped him down, jerked him down, hit him. Now, he's, he's really knocked out, but he's hit. He knows, and that's just a reflex. He is still digging. Bullfighters can do their job. <laughs> Sam Mudlock, he's up on Rugrats. Job Donaldson sends this bull over and round to the right. And boy, you should just ride this bull all day long. Medlock making a nice ride. The old, the old got, he got two. Oh, oh no, my stepped on him twice. Gosh. He stepped Ooh. on him twice, big time. Right in the chest, right in the shoulder. Good news is this bull's not real big. Oh. But real big is relative. That's still about 1,400 pounds. Does not get any closer than that. Sam Medlock. Oh, my. Tandy's looking at him right in the eye. Whew. Well, I imagine Tandy's having to move his head from side to side because they're probably still rolling. Round to the right. He's got him rolling. Now, watch him get overconfident and just clamp. Boom. That stuns him. Boom. Oh, stepped right on his shoulder. Boom. Stepped my. on him again. Bumgardner pulls him out of way to safety. Watch this, boom. Stepping right on him. <laughs> Missed him a little bit right there. <laughs> now that was extreme. In bull riding, the prize goes to the man with the highest score, but the score is just part of the game. Even after the whistle blows, you're not out of danger. You have to get away. And that's why I like to call this next section it ain't over till it's over. Let's start off with Judd Mortensen on Blue Duck. Nevada Burgers bull, Blue Duck. Good draw. Really good draw. You're getting a lot of, his brother Brock's trying to say, come on, Judd, get some money. We need to make some payments. Round to the right. Come on, Judd, get up on your rope. He's trying hard. Yeah. He's oh, baby, nice bull ride coming in. Bam. You got to finish it off. He's hurt. Get up. Oh, Judd. Joe. Keep moving. Step right in his belly. 89 and a half, but it ain't over till it's over. As you mentioned, Donnie, step looked like right in the middle of it. Got him right in the bread basket. I mean, round to the right, and it's, he got off his bull rope, but he is really making a nice bull ride. Hung in there. He was hung on to that rope, and that bull just stepped right. You see his vest got, even came open. Here's Toby Turner. Jerry Nelson's pokey. Hard bull to ride. Usually goes to the right. There it is. Turner makes the turn. Coming out of it. Back around to the left. Oh, he's trying to ride him. Oh, he's into his hand. Look out. Pokey's anything but pokey. Ooh. Trying to poke a hole in his wranglers. 
You know, he almost jumped right back under him there, Donnie, for a second. Knocked him around on the ground quite a bit. Toby Turner. Youngieville, Kentucky Bull Rider. Scored 78 and a half, but that doesn't make him feel any better. Just walked him like a foot log. Little bull turned back to the right. You'd like for him to stay in it and be 85 or 6 before when he circles back left. Now he's got him. Just hanging yeah, on. Yeah, right there. I thought he was going to come back under him. Wow. Bam. Hits him. It could have been a yes. lot worse. You watch him how he steps on him. His foot just kind of rolls off of him. He almost got back in the center. Hit pretty hard. He knows he's coming. There's that foot. There's that oh. foot again. Now that's a miss, but it still hurts. Here's Nate Thorson. Say la vie. Donnie Kish. Oh, the left. He's man. going 90 miles an hour. Long-legged bull rider on a fast spinner. Come on, Nate Thorson. Great ride. Oh, look out. Whoa, look out. Oh, my. he knocked him out. Oh, no. Bullfighter say, man, this guy's mean. Wake up, Nate. Frank Newton, wake up, Nate. Ted Groney coming out to help him. Oh, no, he's coming back. Ted? Nate, you got to get up. Ted saying, Nate, we're both going to get hooked. Well, they got him out. Don't put the mouthpiece back in. <laughs> Frank Newsom. He said, boy, this is fun. <laughs> 87 and a half, and youth is a wonderful thing. Little Bull is just digging, buried up in that ground. Now watch him fade out of it. Got him another spot to spin. Really good. Now watch Nate hang. Now whistle blows. Now watch him hit the ground. Wow. Right on his shoulder, and I mean the lights are on. Ain't nobody home. Nate Thorson. You right ride him here. all the way to the ground. Bam. Work on that get off. No napping in the ring. Let's go to Coy Hudson on Supersonic. on Supersonic. Sammy Andrews. Oh, the stick can hang on now. Coming around to the left. He's whipping a little too much. Look out. He's reared back. Watch it. Oh. Woo. Boy. You heard the ring announcer. He stepped right oh. on him. That's how you get hurt bad. Getting hit with a horn, getting jerked down. That hurts. This right here, it's dangerous. Everybody here in Nashville holding their breath on this boy Hudson. A lot of times when you make the whistle and you're really having trouble, you're really trying hard, as Coy Hudson is right here, whistle blows sometimes, you mentally just let down. Boom, foot comes out. Wow. Oh. Those are the things. Now, boom. It always can be worse. Yes, exactly right, Donnie. Here's Cody Hart. He's on the yellow jacket, Sammy Andrews. Oh, Sammy likes this bull round to the left. Cody Hart been having some problems getting everything going. He's making a great ride. Got down in there. Good job right there. Spurned him with the outside yeah. foot. Oh, there's the whistle. Oh, get out of there now. Look out. Oh, oh, man. Well, it's thrilling. That was a back flip and a front flip at the same Oop. time. It's a strip tease. Been holding that left knee. 87 points the score, but Cody, I think that bull's horn came right up under that left knee. Well, it was wicked. It's a really a nice bull ride. Bull looks to the right, spinning left. Gets down in the well. That's a hard move. He makes it look easy. Now he goes back into his hand. That's the way he likes him. Almost jumped down in the well. I don't know why he got right there, but he's in a bind now. He can't get his hand out. And that bull yes. just pounds his left yes. knee. Just pounded him. Another look at it. Comes up right over the top. Oh, man. It just kind of oh, rinsed yes. him. Yes, yes. Let's go to Jaron Dunamaker. He's on the hunter. Byron Juma, a little red bull, and he's a good one. Nunnemaker's a good bull rider, too. Round of the right into his hand. He's making a good bull ride. He's a little late. Go on, finish up, finish up. Oh, look out. Hung in that bull. Oh, boy, he sticks his hand in there. Look at this little cow kick kicking at him. I mean, he's hung. Ooh, oh, man. That's a train wreck. Away from those gates. Look at Dennis Johnson in there, Donnie. 
That's a train wreck. Not a maker. Butch Lemcooler down there helping out. Man. 86 and a half points somehow. It almost doesn't seem like enough. Boy, the bull really hit the gas, Donnie, when he had him hung up on there, really taking off around the arena. Well, it scared the bull, if you can yeah. believe that. Yes. I mean, that's what I think. Around the right, he made a really nice ride, but you just got to finish it off. Bull jumps forward, and he is hung. He's stuck bad. Watch him kick at him. See, he's right kicking there. at him. He's staying on his feet now. He's pretty good shape right there, and then this bull just shifts gears. I mean, we even got the barrel man in the chase. Dennis Johnson, Roach. There, Butch. Lem Killer. Everybody's there. Doing what they can, but boy, that's where you get your legs broke. He yes. spun all the way in under. Dennis got a hold of that ramp. Good job. Nobody quit. Don't you just love it? Oh, well, here's Owen Washburn, Palace Station Express. Terry Williams, this is the one you want. Round to the left, into your office, and get the money. Come on, oh, don't get off your rope. You gotta spur hard, you gotta get out. Right. You gotta be aggressive. Owen Washburn making a great ride. Okay, go out the back door, look out. Ow. Right there. Oh, he's got it, I mean, he is just down in underneath him. See Jimmy grab that bull by the horn. Well, you'd have called that the black hole. Ooh. Owen yes, said never touch. Well, he said, yep, I still got a pulse. Going 90 to nothing. 89 points. You know, his get offs a couple of times here, Donnie, in the last couple of years, Owen Washburn. Make you hold your breath. Well, you know, just sometimes on these type of uh -huh. bulls that don't have enough kick to keep you up on your rope to propel you away from the bull. He's just going to slide out the back door and drop down, and this bull's going to spot him. He sees him, and he's got him. Boy, I mean, that is a shot. Oh, that, that's just living right right there. Wow. Man. Watch this. Okay, this is just a little love tap. He shouldn't ride me like that. Now watch his back feet right there. All the way over the top. Here's Coy Hudson. He's on Kessler's Universal. Greg Kessler loves this little bull right there to the left, into his hand, away from his hand. Boy, Coy made a great turn. Yeah. That jump out of it. Come on. Oh, look out. Watch the wall. Oh, Jimmy, get him. Jimmy. Oh, no, that bull has just got all over him. What a move by Jimmy Anderson, because that uh, Universal had Coy Hudson lined out. Just underneath him, you know, it, it looked like, you know, that, that, that he was going to hit the wall and pin him. Jimmy gets his attention, but his back feet caused the problem. It was a great ride. He's in a little bit of a bind. Bull stops that spin. Now, watch this. Whistle blows. Boom. Right there, you think, well, he's going to get hooked. Now, watch the back feet. I mean, Ooh. just one of them came right down on top of him and just mashed him in the ground. Another look at it. That's what you don't want, getting stepped on. Now, Jimmy gets the bull. Look at that. Uh. Woo-wee. Let's go to Bubba Dunn. He's on Dan Russell's Skeeter. Okay, this is a good bull. He's going to spin right. He'll spin both directions. Come on now. Fort Worth, they're Bye -bye. loving it, they're loving it. Oh, he lost the bull. Oh, no, look out, bull down, cowboy down. Frank, look, oh, bum gardener, he got it in the bum. Look out, oh. Frank. Frank, we're, don't go in there. <laughs> man, oh, man, a little bit of everything for you. Bubba's hand flew out of the rope. I think the bull was just plain old dizzy and fell down. Eight, Eight seconds. Oh four. That's, that's what we're looking for. What a good ride, what a good ride. 88 and a half points. Man, he stops the clock when he loses the bull rope. He's just spurring him. Now watch this, pop. Yikes. And that bull, he's trying to get him. Frank says, get up, get up, get up. Oh no, he's now gotta go save Bumgarner. I gotta save him, nope, nope, now I gotta save myself. Now those are athletes, modern day gladiators. There is no playing it safe in the bull riding. Now, let's get back to the hooking and stomping that makes the PBR so exciting to watch. Former world champion Owen Washburn, he may have a gold buckle, but hey, somebody forgot to tell the bull. How about Owen Washburn on Locomotive Breath? All right, Harrington Cattle Company, Locomotive Breath, and around to the left, Owen Washburn knows the bull well. 
Got to get it going. Needs 85 and a half to lead the event. Watch this. Look at he split to the left. Boy, it doesn't oh, ride to the one. It gets hot. Gosh. He's knocked out. Oh, my goodness. Get up. Get, oh, well, he can't. Frank Newsom is just fine. Jimmy, Jimmy Anderson takes a shot in the shorts. He's leading him off. All right, Roach has got to just cover him up. Bull should go out of the arena. Gates out there. I don't want to watch it, but if it's there, I guess we've got to. All right. You can tell everybody's still keeping an eye on the bull. Well, the uh, pickup man missed him with that throw. Bull's not going to try to get him back. Owen Washburn, he is knocked out cold. Left foot just pops out. Boom, there it goes. Back, there it goes. He's out. It's just lucky that he turns and lands straight. When you fall unprotected, that's when you can have the serious injury. Like he was hit face down. I mean, you know, he, he just, boom, he hit him, knocked him out. Catches oh, him. Oh, my. These men. Wow. Here's Corey Navarre on the happy hooker. Gary Hempstead just loves this little bull. Round to the left, Navarre down in the hole, hung up. Look out. Oh, hood ornament. Oh, it's under Ooh, his vest. It's hung in boy. there. Boy, breakaway city. Sometimes those protective vests can unprotect you. Yep. That was a perfect shot of it, Donnie. That horn up underneath Corey Navarre's vest. And still in the rope. Really had him stretched out. Yes, sir. That would be a little bit scary. This is what you call shishki bob. Hits him, hooks him, goes up under that vest. There right it is. There. He's just hung Ooh. right there. It Weird. comes loose, breaks away. I think I'd rather oh. took the shot and my Wrangler button's coming loose. When it's under there, right there. Woo! Happy hooker. He's having a field day. <laughs> Talk about your big coat racks. Here comes Pete Hessman on the party hound. Oh, Donnie Kish likes party hound. Around the, oh, he got flat. Oh, don't go in the well. Put that down on his head. Look out. Pete. Oh, Pete. no. Rolling him up. Oh, Frank Newsom. Little shot in the shorts. I'm telling you. We got atmosphere going. Party hound is having a party. Wow. Pete's not enjoying it at all. I mean, I'm telling you. Boy, just one flick of his head, and he sent. I mean, he's smoking them all. Oh, my. Frank Newsom just flew we'll out. Get another shot of this. Party Hound. You just think, Pete, he's tougher than Boots. Doesn't ride him. Comes close. The little bull just flattened out and then goes to kicking. Ground kind of fell away from him. He's thinking, man, I come all the way to California to just get hooked. Watch this. Now, Party Hound is getting it on. Hessman make it a good ride. Got flat. Mm -hmm. Whipped him down. Now, watch this. Party Hound. He said it's time to get some booty right here. Watch this. Oh, nice. yeah. Got some good one. Ooh. Look out. Jimmy had to save everybody. Get you another look. Uh-huh. Downtown with the Party Hound. Watch this flick. Oh, now, watch Frank Newsom. Oh, baby. Man, oh, man. Ronnie Kitchens, he's on the gas hog. Come on, Ronnie. All right, Ronnie, get a hold. Come on, look out. Don't jump down in there too far. Come on, Ronnie Kitchens, good bull ride. Oh, hey, these two, wait Ooh. on the bull. I think he was bucking harder look, than the bull. He blowed Jimmy out of his horns. <laughs> Jimmy's not horny anymore. <laughs> he has been dehorned, Jimmy Anderson. No, you know, Ronnie was Kitchens. working so hard, Donnie, he threw himself off practically. I, I mean, I, I'm sitting there going, he, I mean, he just did 7.66. He's going, how, why, watch this. Round to the right, and he's got him rolling. Now, I want you to watch his head, Ronnie Kitchen's head, not the bull's head. Now, look right here. Yeah. He's looking right there at the ground. He's thinking the bull's coming around. you got to wait on the bull. I mean, he just cuts the legs right out of Jimmy. And he said, man, I'd rather bull run over me than Kitchen get flung <laughs> through me. Get the whole kitchen sink. I mean, he just, Jimmy goes in there to make the save and go, wow. Now, Jimmy didn't jump all that high. Yeah, that wasn't a real high jump. Here's Ednai Kaminhas on the Devil's Advocate. Nice little bull of Vernon Gidry. Round left, Ednai. Brazilian. Uh -oh. oh, no, 
No. I mean, getting walked like a foot long, dog. Oh. Baby, I think he missed him that last time. It's a good thing. Man, he walked all around him. Ed Knight is out. All right. Justin Sports Medicine crew out there. Sometimes it looks like a track meet. More times than not. The best in the business, look at him. Tony Mendez out there checking on his partner, Edna Kaminhas. Gets on the end of that arm, doesn't need to do that, drop down the well, and the bull just hits him and just knocks him slick out. I mean, just rude hog or die right here. Stepped Ooh. right on him, missed him. Boy. Okay. He had that right arm, it's just straight. Now watch, it just drops him over in there. Boom, he's already knocked out. Now watch his, watch his bull. Hooked him, rolled him on, watch his back feet right here. Stepped on either side of him. Both Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Justin McBride. On Western Wishes. Watch this little one-horned uh, devil right here. Round to the left. Don't go down in the well on this one, because that's the horn side. Lord, I just there. said don't do that. Comes out of that smelling like a rose. Only one horn, and boy, he used it. Knows where it's at. No score. Good ride started, but just didn't finish it up. It is a no score. Boy, you called it, Donnie, going down in the well. That was the wrong place to be with well, this bull. Little, little bull spins real fast, and you can override him. Justin McBride rides so good sometimes, he just, you know, he gets bored, I think. Doesn't need to do something and just jump down in there. I mean, that bull just, I mean, hold it out of him. Watch him punch him. He just punches him. Justin sees it coming, gets his arm down. Well, he threw himself down. He wanted to hook him again. Here's Pace and Thigerson, Harrington Cattle Company's bull, Dillinger. Be careful in the shoot. Got the rope tied across him. Keep him from jumping. Oh, look out. Watch out. Oh, oh slash, hit my side gate. Oh, gosh. Worst wreck I've ever seen. Pace, son. Pace and Thigerson out, but he's out. I mean, the bull jumped, slammed him in the chute. He oh, nodded, bull looking at the back side of the gate. He's coming too. Yes, sir. That was bad. That's a wreck. That was bad. Well, we know that he's all right, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't think so. Watch this. And he nods, he shouldn't have. He should have just waited and shut the gate. But boom, boy, that bull just crushes him up in the front and he's just lucky he doesn't break his neck right there. Watch him. Boom, right up into the slide gate. Everybody's standing back there going, oh my gosh. Everybody's thinking the worst right here. Rob Smith is just gonna lay it on the line. Boom. Boom. That's as bad a wreck as you will ever see for somebody to just have a little knot on the head. Mm -hmm. And he was all right after that pace of like to to Here's Bobby Caps, Donnie, from the Laughlin Shootout on Prime Time. Skip Beeler's little bull, and he loves him. Ouch. Listen, look out. I just love watching that bull buck. Jumps up in yes. the air and just shakes, and Jimmy's all over. Came down right on Bobby Caps. Bobby Caps has been just like beat that. up here. Uh-oh, I hope Bobby's all right. Last end of the year. Watch this bull down kick, down jump and kick. The they should have named this bull Shimmy, oh, Shimmy, Coco oh, Bob. Oh, Look at that. Wow. Yes. What a picture. <laughs> Here's another shot of it from a different angle. Hits right on his elbow, and then the bull just kisses him on the way by. And check it Look out. At that. Welcome to the PBR. Here's Lonnie Stevenson, our old pal Lonnie. He's on Blue Thunder. You knew Harrington had sent something in. Oh, no, knocked him out. Oh, he pawed him like a dog. Get up out of there. I mean, he looked like he was going to do that uh -huh. do that old digging up bones. <laughs> bury him somewhere. Lonnie Stevenson. They what got a got a kink in that purple hat of roach too. Can't say enough about the bullfighters. Boy. Just override drops down in the well, just gets hit right upside the head. Get that this bull just reaches and just steps on him. Gonna just drag him up a little closer to get him, but Steverson up and out of there. Watch this bull's front feet when he goes down in the well. 
Now this is a bull that's intent on some mayhem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, he went to step on him, just folded that hoof over. Very lucky. Here's Chad Wareham on the Gold Coast Gambler. Nice little bull of Donnie Kish, round to the left. Wareham moving a little bit. Go, oh, got to get down in the well now. He's in trouble. He's hung in a rope. You got to get to your feet. He's trying. Oh, Roach is down. Oh, our bullfighter don't know who to save. Smets. Wareham got a hurt wrist. Roach is still down. Roach is still down. They don't know who to check first. Boy. It'd be easier to check guys that didn't get hit. Right leg. Yep. It's all right. Just nearly cut off, but I'll walk it off. Little fighters, different breed. Really a nice ride all the way to the whistle. Doesn't quite get there. Rob Smith's keeping the bull going straight. Roach takes his shot and then stepped on him. Oh, he's lucky right there. Mm -hmm. All right, here he goes down in the hole. Reaches, gets his arm in the right position. Now he gets on his feet. Everybody's doing their job. That's just part of it. Oh, yeah. firing out the back end, wasn't he? Right there. Oh. Uh, I mean, it took Dennis and Rob both to save it, but what would a wreck tape be without Leslie Doyle? Leslie Doyle. Okay, come on, Leslie. Wells Fargo, Casper Bar. Oh, no. That look said it all. Step right on him. Ball mm. oh, right in the bread basket. Julio sticks it on him. National Finals team roper and stock contractor, he can rope. Julio Wells Fargo, he just won't out. out. That Julio Marino, huh? Boy, talk about the agony of defeat. That was the agony of the hoof right in the stomach. I thought you were just talking about defeat of that bull. <laughs> I'm telling you, oh man, and that which is what it was, no pun intended, defeat. Just rings him out like a dirty shirt, and he hits right on his back, and bang. Oh, boy. Rip time. Now, if the vest didn't save him, wouldn't nothing save him. Stepped it off. Stepped right on him. Man. Leslie Doyle is in excruciating pain. Here's Bobby Caps, Donnie, on victory. One more time, Joe Simons, bull. Big yanking, jerking dude. Whipped him down, mucked him out. Oh, boy. Bull is just jumping around and Bobby Caps is out. Cold. And Tandy Freeman is right there. Makes you want to know why they do it. Too lazy to work, too nervous to steal. It's a, you know it's worth a change. <laughs> Paying a lot of good money. You can see he's coming to. to come to, yep. First thing he says is, did I ride him? <laughs> Big yanking bull sets Here it him comes. up. The whop. Bam. Just lucky falls good. Yes, you're right, Donnie. Just see him turn into a rag doll in midair. Watch his free hand and head go back right here. There's back. There's down. Mm. Ouch. Bobby Caps. Let's go to BJ Cramps. He's on Rocky. Marino Bull, Julio Marino. He's usually picking up. Rocky's got him down on his head. Oh no, look out. BJ takes a beating. Good looking bull. Tough checking him out. Hey, right, sprung a leak. Right under the eye. He's, yeah, I'm okay. Bum Gardner thinking, man, there's nothing I can do about it. That happened before he ever even got on the ground. Mm -hmm. I suppose Tuff's telling him that ain't so bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, everything is relative, you know? Yep. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You think back to Tuff Edelman and Bodacious, all the plastic and screws that's in Tuff's head and face, that was just a little love tap compared to that. Yep. Yeah. Never want anybody to get hurt, you know, but he was just so close to the money, couldn't get the right foot down, down on his head, ring around the rosy. 
Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Now, the PBR isn't all about wrecks. Some of the high scores in bull riding are made here on the tour. Heck, it took a 94-point ride just to make the tape. Here's what happens when it all comes together. Let's start off with Troy Dunn on Slam Jam. All right. Seen enough wrecks. Watch this. Harrington Cattle Company. Fort Worth, Texas. This is a good bull ride. Now, you think this bull is going to go to the right? Check where his hand is. He's got it. This bull gets it on. Right in the gate. Into the wheelhouse of Troy Dunn. One of the oh, riding this guy in the last 10 years. Half of the world, Troy Dunn. Riding him like a yard dog. What a run. You don't hardly ever see him with a lot of emotion, but <laughs> that one fired him up. Check the score. 94 points for Troy Dunn. Had him standing on their feet in Fort Worth, Texas. Bull is bucking just as hard as he can buck. Troy Dunn, he's pumping. He knows the bull could jump out of the spin, so he's having to ride hard. Whistle blows, he got loosened up, got the wrap. Yes, sir, 94 points. And land on your feet. That's the way you do it, finish it off. You saw some of those guys in the wreck that would make a good ride and didn't finish it off. This is... You know, it's not over till it's over, and there it is, and now it's over. 94. Here's J.W. Hart on Hollywood. Oh, Anaheim. Harrington loves this bull. Watch this. It's a great ride. Round to the right, back off his rope, up, oh, feet man. out, grit, true grit. Good job, the hit man. Just, just did everything he could do. Jerome Robinson, 11 times in the national final over to say, good ride, kid. Mm -hmm. Rob Smets, five-time champ of the world in the bullfighting. J.W. Hart came so close to him with that free hand, didn't touch him. 94 and a half point bull ride for J.W. Hart. Just a rank bull, and J.W. has been on this bull before, been under him. Not gotten along real good with him. <laughs> this bull is, is really tough to ride. Had one of those trips. I mean, even all the bull riders that he beat are fired up because Hollywood, he's probably been ridden five times maximum in five years. Everybody loved that score, 94 and a half points. Just watch it back. Bull looks to the left, back around to the right. That's his MO and that's his best trip. JW is riding. Now watch his feet come loose. Nearly sucked yes. him down, just kicked him loose. Hung in there to the last minute. Threw him off, knocked all the stuffings out of him, but he finished it off. That's the way you do it. Great job. Let's look at Jason Bennett. This is on Jim Jam. Logan and Williams, you just love this bull. He's been rode a couple of times. Look here. Oh, Jason Bennett going and ride, going and ride. Yes, sir. He's yeah. got it going. He's got it done. Good bull. Uh-oh, look out. Kind of rough on the dismount, but what a ride. Jason Bennett. Stands here in Fort Worth, Texas, showing their approval. So is Jimmy Anderson. Boy, what an effort. 94 and a half points for Jason Bell. Really good ride. Just watch his feet bounce out, but he doesn't quit. Keeps looking at that book. Keeps looking right down with his mind's eye, doing what he's doing. Gets it done. Runs him off his rope. Whistle blows it. Can't get his wrap down there. Gets out of there. Good job. Great ride. Watch this one. Adriano Marais on Promised Land. Adriano round to the left into his hand. Oh, boy. Big jump. Got a hope. Going the other way. Good to reverse the spin. Oh, go ah, Adriano. What yes. an effort. Woo. <laughs> All right, get our 90s crowd up and at them. Brazil, you're getting the money. Adriano was just getting things going there, Donnie. 95 points, making his comeback after quite a bit of time off. This bull, this is a good bull ride, and, and when he comes around, and this bull fades, probably as hard a trip to ride, now he reverses it. The bull very seldom ever does that. Adriano just able to hang in there. Just an outstanding ride. 
outstanding ride, Jay. I'm just telling you, he just made an outstanding ride. Let's take a look at Justin McBride. This is on Rampage. Harrington Cattle Company, and everybody's terrified of this bull. Right hand delivery. He just riding good. Justin goes ahead, makes the corner both ways. Oh, man. Oh, baby. This boy got talent or what? Yeah. Everybody's thinking of is Justin get his teeth knocked out on Rampage. Check him out, Ross Coleman. My buddy, my buddy, 8.73. You know, about this third jump, Donnie, it was worth 30 grand to Justin. I thought he was going to come forward. He kind of meet up a little bit, kept him back. Boy, he's got a lot of talent. Yeah. He rides, and, and, and sometimes he rides them really differently, but he doesn't really take deep holds, floats around there, keeps this bull. Had a shot to jerk him down yes. right there, but he ran his knees up, caught a good hold, whistle blew. Wow. You know, and there's a kid that just made a ri the ride of his life. Talk about great rides. Chris Shivers on Dillinger. Look at this bull buck. Shivers in the middle. Round to the right. Pops look the rope at Dillinger. Out. Whoa, look at Jimmy Anderson. I mean, he's never out of place. And Dillinger was bucking, Donnie. He was putting it on him. They love it. At his best. They love it. The million dollar man. Scoring him 96 points, Dan. Making, you know, that bull's almost breaking over center, round to the right. Mm, yes. And this is fading across there. A bull cannot buck any harder than that right there. Jimmy and Frank did it. What they could do, wins the challenge ride. Good job by Mr. Shiver. Me timber, Chris Shivers. Well, Dillinger tried to make him pay for it after that was over. Here's Owen Washburn, great ride on Promised Land. Owen Washburn has the talent to ride any of them, and watch this. He's just riding the rank bull, bucking bull of the year. I mean, pumping over back door, whistle blows. Pay me. Great job. Just a great job. Why he was a champ of the world. You very seldom see Owen Washburn be that emotional, right. but that's in Albuquerque, New Mexico, his home state. How about 95? 95 man? points. Tough telling him, yeah. You just ride like that all the time, you'd have four or five of them buckers. Owen Washburn. I mean, he's on the end of his arm, and that's the back door all the way, and he mm. doesn't quit. That's true grit. Great job right there. No question, he makes the whistle. Maybe. Let's do Chris Shivers, Donnie on Jim Jam. Watch this. Round to the right, away from his hand. He loves him like that. Look at that free hand. Windshield wiper. Look at this bull, like a helicopter blade. Chris Shivers makes a great ride. Jim Jam, that's probably the best trip he's had to get ridden. Mm -hmm. See that bull back up and look at him. Who was that guy? Nine seconds, plenty of time. Ninety-six and a half points for Chris Shivers. When things are right, they're just right. It doesn't make any difference. But look at the free hand. Did you like this better than the Dillinger ride, Donnie? Check the timing. Actually, I did. Oh. That bull. Two different kinds of bulls. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That was a great ride also. The PBR World Finals, it's the goal of every bull rider. The top 45 cowboys, they meet the ultimate challenge bulls from the greatest contractors. Here, everybody puts it all on the line, nothing held back, no holes barred. That's why the finals delivers the best of the season. And here's a few highlights. Let's start off with B.J. Cramps. They're at the finals on smooth. Mac Altizer's bull, and we've got our Canadian champ right in the middle of a good one. Come on now, you gotta get it going. World Finals packed house, B.J. Cramps having his problems, and this bull is anything but smooth. He's in trouble. Oh, goodness. That was the gate man. Yes. And it's lucky he doesn't get lynched by the mob. The gate man is just absolutely paralyzed. Look at Cody Lambert. Look at Cody Lambert. Oh, he's all over. That's way worse than that bull. I can promise you that. B.J. Cramps takes a lick. All right. 
coming around. Now, BJ's hand has slipped up across this bull's back and he's hung up. He can't get his hand out and boom. The cowboy should have already had the gate shut. He was watching the ride. Watch this, this could have killed him. But you know, some people react differently under pressure. Here's Dusty LaBeth, Donnie. This was on prime time. Skip Beeler's prime time and high jump and hipped himself real bad coming out of the chute. Dusty LaBeth, oh boy, slam dunk. Woo. Just slam dunk right out over his head. Dusty LaBeth, no score. Worth another look. Yeah, let's walk this way, Dusty. <laughs> All right. Jumps out of there. I mean, I'm not sure he didn't touch him right there to begin with, but I couldn't see from my angles. Man. Boom, boy, but he did there. Uh -huh. Little love tap. Watch this, get a front angle of this. You know it's coming. Right now, he's reared back. Here now watch go. his bull bring him. Bam. I mean, that was from left field. Mm -hmm. He jerked him down so hard, didn't hit him in the face, hit him in the chest. Watch this one, Ed Nykaminhas on Dillinger at the finals. Okay, watch this bull ride. He's on the end of his arm. Ain't no way he's supposed to be able to ride Dillinger. No way, no way, Jose. This is Ed Nykaminhas, and what a ride. Harrington Cattle Company, bucking bull of the year, Dillinger. Got them standing on their feet. I had mentioned to you at the time, Donnie, he had my back on his pockets, arms straight, and he just hung in there. Hung That's in just there. absolute bearing down. That's what you do. Yeah, you don't need to speak English to, to enjoy this. I mean, this bull blows out of there, cranks her back to the right people. He even said that the bull didn't have a very good day. Well, I beg your pardon. When Ed Nakaminhoff rode him, he rode him all the way to the ground. 94.5, yeah. <laughs> Here's Joe Rush, trick or treat. All right, trick or treat, Dan and Linda Russell's and jumping out of there, belly rolling around to the right. Joe Rush, look out, hit him. Bam. Look out, got to get going. Oh, got him and Smith, Smith. Wow. Great bull for so many years, trick or treat. Yeah, that might be his last year too. You see Joe Rush got a, did get it, looked like he'd have been a mouth on the way down. The trick or treat still bucking. Looks to the left, comes back around to the right. You know he's coming out of it, didn't have to. Hit Joe Rush, he's trying to move, wow. Smets is right there. Smets takes the shot, they're all up and down. Watch Rob Smets now. This is his job, full time. Wow, what a job. He is great at it. Here's Pete Hessman on Red Wolf. All right, the final time you see Red Wolf in action, round to the right, Pete Hessman. Kansas Bull Rider is gonna be able to take the memory with him of riding a great bull both ways. Oh yeah, good get off all, don't this bull is after it got Dennis Johnson, knocked him down. Proud bull right there. Tip of the hat to Red Wolf, Pete Hesman. Boy, did you see the flash bulbs going off? Good job. Round to the right. Red Wolf has bucked his heart out for many years. Harrington Cattle Company retiring the bull after this event. He's gonna be on some cows and there'll be some baby Red Wolves and bull, but don't think for one minute he don't mean business. Terry Don on Juice. Casper Baca's the Juice. Little bull just cranked her back around to the right. Come on, TD. Got it going now. Got a hold, got a boy. Finish it off, look out. Terry Don can ride. Can he ride? He gets it on his mind. He'd have thought a second into that, no way would he make the win. Now he has read three, remember he has a 90, a 90.5. He has one two. To the left, bull stumbled. Nearly whipped him down, reversed it back to the right. Got him down in the well too far. He comes out, 93 points, and what a great ride. What a great ride. All right, watch this. The bull has him dead to rights, and just sometimes it don't happen. Mm -hmm. Here's Mark Ward, Donnie. This is on Blueberry Wine. Good little spinner right here. Mark Ward knows the deal's coming to the left. Now to Bam. the right. Now, I mean, this bull is fixing to get him. 
Warren takes the shot. Yeah, hair trigger. <laughs> Wound a little tight there, Mark Ward. You would be too. Oh, you bet. I'm telling you, little bull wanting to go to the left right there, can't make up his mind, just jerked him down. Marcus Harrington, he loves this bull, blueberry wine. Watch this little bull. Not very big, but he I got a little power. Yeah. Little action. Get a little 220 on you. Here's Adriano on Diamond's Ghost. Jerry Beverly Nelson just loved this bull. Round to the right. Oh, what hit him right in the chest. Hit him right in the chest. Come on, Adriano. What a ride. He just jerks him up. Look at his arm. Taped all the way. What a cowboy. <laughs> He says, thank the Lord, that's a ride. He should be, he should be in therapy with that left arm. I saw it. It's just black as that shirt right there. Bull hits him, boom, right in that hurt arm. What's he do? Sticks his chest out and spurs him with the outside foot. What a ride, 92 and a half. There's about five short, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. I think he'd have wrestled him. Here's Dave Samsel. This was on locomotive breath. Watch this ride. Samsel, he showed him what he's made of. He's only been riding bulls about five years total. Look at here. PBR World Finals, locomotive breath. Spur him. Hold it out of him. Wave your hand. Good athlete, Samsel. Yeah. 93. Boy, what a finals he put together. Dave Samsel. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Oh, yeah. Watch this, he just gets around the corner, holds tight, that's how far that bull's fading, all the way to the catch yes. pin now. Now watch him with the outside foot. Here's a man with confidence. To the neck, got our boy. Been watching Bubba Dunn films. All right, Dave Samson. And here was the man at the finals, Tater Porter on cash. What a way to wrap it up. World Championship Finals winner, Tater Porter, Donnie Kisses, Bucking Bull Cash. Finished it off in fine style. Yard dart, but hey, I'll get a new hat. He won $411,000 in the year 2000. Gator Porter. Oh yeah, roll him, roll all his cash. Get him for it all. <laughs> Had the entire crowd standing on their feet at Thomas and Matt. Well, Tuff and I, neither one of us picked him to win the finals. He, uh, he made us look like the amazing Kreskin, I'm sure. Tater Porter does it in fine style. You heard the announcer. This is the way you, this is the way you finish off championship bull riding right here. Just hanging tough. Terry Don West. Now, Tater Porter won the finals on that ride and took home more money than any cowboy ever in a single season. Now, Chris Shivers, he won the point race to become the 2000 PBR World Champion. Now, that's all the time we have for this tape, and what a wild ride it was. Now, if you liked what you saw on this tape and would like to see more PBR action, just send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Rodeo Videos, P.O. Box 148-400, Nashville, Tennessee, 37214. Now, I'll be pleased to send you a list of all of my available rodeo videos. And until next time, thanks for ordering this tape, and happy trails, partner.